I'm Dr. Jen Ferboni, better known as Doc Jen Fit, your personal physical therapist. And I am so excited to be back to YouTube since having a baby. And now that I've had a baby, I can relate to what a lot of people typically feel within their mid back from carrying a baby or bent over, whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, you can develop a lot of that pain right along the bra line. And I hear a lot of complaints. So I want to talk about it today. Now, since this is my first time back to YouTube, since having a little one, I want to know, do you experience other pains as a mom or a caregiver for a little baby? Are there typical pains within your wrist, within your back, within your neck, within your hips? Tell me in the comments below. I want to hear from you so that I know how to best support your body. Now, the first ones that I want to go through are probably the most important. So if you're not going to go through the entire video, at least do these two exercises every single day if you are carrying a little baby. Now, these both are so nice because you could do it just sitting and that's what I'm going to show you. So I'm on a little ottoman. So whether you're plopping down on a couch or in a chair, wherever you're going to be breastfeeding, or you can take a moment to just sit. This is when I want you to try to do these exercises when you're baby free. So all you're going to do for this first one is called seated flexion and extension. So we're going to reach down in between our legs, rounding in that back and actually pushing those shoulders away from your ears and straight down to the floor. So we're really focusing on getting that full flexion so that then we do the opposite and we're going to reach to the ceiling and then trying not to just dip into the low back and put those hip bones forward but you're really going to try to lift from that rib cage and sternum up to the ceiling as we pull the elbows back and allow the chin to kind of just relax and follow as you pull those shoulder blades back. So we're really focusing on that mid back area. And again, rounding down to the floor, shoulders away from your ears, round, reach up and open. And sometimes getting the breath. So breathing in, expanding into that upper back, breathing out, letting it pull back and squeeze between the shoulder blades. And if you just do five of these, breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, I promise you, throughout the day, you're gonna start to feel something so much different as you're continuing to be in that rounded position. You want the body to feel what it is like to go into full flexion and full extension. So we get that body kind of feeling where midline would be between the two without having to force a posture all day long. The next one we wanna do is rotation through the spine. So now, whether you're reaching down to the floor or placing your hand just on your knee here or placing your arm on the inside of your leg, you're going to rotate up to the ceiling. Okay. So again, we don't need to be rounded all the way forward. We don't have to be touching the floor. If you prefer that you can, and you're just going one way and then the other. And I like to breathe in because then we're going to expand from that rib cage and using that rib cage to allow that upper back to open, breathing out, breathing in, open, <sighs> relax. Breathe in. <sighs> relax. And if you just do about three to five on each side, again, these first two exercises, if you weren't going to come back to anything else except these first two exercises, I promise on a daily basis, you're already going to start to feel so much different because we're not just doing passive mobility, which we're going to get into in this video, but we're doing active mobility to, to really use those muscles and move through our full range of motion, especially with, when we've been just kind of stuck in one position, whether you're rocking the baby to try to get him to go down, which I am not the sleep expert, so don't ask me, <laughs> or just carrying the baby and trying to do your tasks, you know, we end up in that rounded position in that elongating those muscles and being in that elongated, but then holding yourself up, we're turning those muscles on in an elongated position. So we need to make them both active in all ranges of motion and not just pulling back. Okay. Now, next one, we're really going to now work on the upper back a little bit more. If you recently had a C-section and you don't want to be laying completely on your stomach, this is when a little ottoman comes into handy because then you can just lay your chest here. Um, if that's not, if you want to lay completely on the floor, you can just lay completely on the floor and then bring your arms out here. Okay. 
Or if the opposite, if you're just not feeling good laying completely on your chest right now, you can lean over an ottoman to try to get the chest over because I know also how that can feel a little bit in the breast area if you are breastfeeding or pumping and having any discomfort around that area. Okay, so options here that you can take. The main focus that we want to do is on this upper back. Okay, so arms are just going to be down out in front of you. Chin is going to be tucked. So this is where we're going to come into a good double chin position, looking straight down and thinking of a string pulling from the top of your head out. So really elongating that neck and pulling it back, holding this position. This is really good for our neck. Now we're going to think of lifting the arms and pulling the thumbs behind your ears as you squeeze those shoulder blades down and then bringing it out. And you just need to do five really slow, conscious pulls. Again, I'm going to show you what it would look like if you were on a higher surface. Okay, so here, arms are down. We're going to reach up and then trying to pull those elbows and thumbs back behind your ears, squeeze those shoulder blades down, hold it for a couple seconds, and then have it come out. So just nice and slow. We're not doing a workout here. We're just trying to wake up those muscles for support, especially in that opposite position of where we always are at, right? So this really will help. So it makes that body just feel like, oh, I can be a little bit more upright. I could be more supported again without thinking that I have to turn my muscles on all day long because this is not perfect posture, right? We just want to work the muscles so that they feel relaxed when we're more upright. Then after about five good ones of those. The last thing we're going to do is either if you have a long foam roller, this is the only thing I do on this long foam roller, <laughs> or you can take like a long pillow and just fold that in half. You can uh, roll up a big blanket, like whatever you can do to kind of create this kind of effect here. Bottom is going to go on the very edge, lay all the way down, and then all we're going to do is bring those arms back and relax in a peck stretch. So this is good to say the baby's taking a nap or finally down for the night. And you're just going to relax here for about five minutes. I like to put my knees together because it just helps to relax my body a little bit more. Thinking of my conscious breathing, trying to relax my shoulders and neck completely. I'm just going to be breathing from that lower rib cage belly area, doing nice slow breaths, whether you're breathing in and nice and slow out through your mouth, or you're just doing nasal breathing. The more that we get into nasal breathing, the more we calm our system. The more we calm our system, the more we relax the muscles that are super tense and tight. So I promise you, you do these four exercises. I mean, just showing you already and preparing for this video, I was like, oh my gosh, this feels so good for my body because I was just breastfeeding right before this. So I'm telling you, it feels so good if you continue to come back to these, those first two exercises in particular. And if there are other videos that you need support with in your body, if you're feeling other pains, whether you're a caregiver or mom or not, please let me know in the comments below what is going on with your body. How can I better support you when I hear from you? Then I know what videos to come out with. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you want to be alerted of those videos that are coming out in the future. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.